Great day, second grade students and families. It's Mr. Sargent here with your weekly announcements for October 31st through November 3rd. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot to talk about this week. So we're going to go ahead and get started. First of all, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to all the second grade families that both donated for our trunk or treat or attended our math night and trunk or treat. We had such an incredible time here. Miss Lewis was telling me all about the fun things you were doing at math night and all the ways you represented during the trunk or treat. I couldn't be more excited for you guys to have that experience and have some fun too. Way to represent GPA and the second grade. That goes for the kids as well as the families. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the second graders and GPA people that have participated in Red Ribbon Week this week. As you can see, I got my team jersey on today. Today was team day. We have had sunglass day, red shirt day, hat day, uh, sunglasses day. I think I'm missing crazy socks day. And second grade has truly represented what it means to be well, part of Red Ribbon Week. So keep up the great work and keep up representing our second grade class. So now let's talk about some school news. This Monday, I believe it's this Monday, you may want to check Class Dojo from 3 o'clock to 9 p.m. at the Chick-fil-A at Pisgah Church. We have our PTA Chick-fil-A night. Uh, I encourage all of you to go out there and support GPA PTA as well as our school by celebrating at Chick-fil-A on Pisgah Church from 3 to 9. It'll be a great time, great food, and it helps support our school. As you are all aware, the Wiz performance that was supposed to be last Friday was postponed due to unforeseen circumstances. So whenever it is rescheduled, you will be the first to know and prepare. It is going to be a great representation of just the incredible talent we here have here at GPA. This Thursday and Friday, November 2nd and 3rd, will be no school for the students. It'll be a teacher work day. So mark your calendars. This Thursday and this Friday, there will be no school due to teacher work day. So enjoy your long weekend, and we'll see you guys and ladies when you come back on Monday. And that's it for school news this week. Let's talk about what we're doing in ELA, math, and in social studies. And I have some news for you. Come here, come closer. A little closer. This week, there's no homework. Because of the teacher work days on Thursday and Friday, there will be no homework this week. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? All right, I know you're happy too. Um, this week is the end of the quarter. In fact, all the grades will be in by November 1st and report cards will be sent November 6th. So prepare this week to do your work in class on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So let's talk about what we're going to be doing in ELA. This week in ELA, we're going to be ending our first module. This is when you're going to get to talk about and review all of the stories that you have read this quarter so far. I know about Sky Tree, uh, Color of My Own, uh, just to name a few. These are some incredible books that you get to review and talk about this week. All right. Now, even though you have no homework, Practicing your eye ready skills would not be a bad way to keep practicing at home. So I encourage each and every one of you for both math and reading to get on eye ready and get that practice in. Now also in ELA, you're going to be focusing on how change is important in nature. If you notice the common theme in all the books that you've read, it has been how change is influenced and influences nature. So make sure you're paying attention to Miss Daniels this week as you go over all of the stories we've read this year. In math, I'm truly excited to say you get to start working on different forms of a number. This is true. This is exciting because we see these numbers all the time. Sometimes our numbers are written in words. Sometimes they're written in standard form, which is numerical. And then sometimes we have expanded form that looks like this. 
Now, this week, you're going to be introduced to the different forms of numbers. You're going to be able to see how all three of these types of ways that we say numbers are going to be connected. All right. So once again, make sure that you are paying attention to the lessons that Miss Lewis is teaching us, as well as practicing on iReady. In social studies this week, we're going to continue talking about community helpers, rules and laws for our community, and different jobs that people do. Now, on Monday, we're going to have a little competition where we create our own community. Now, when we create a community, we need to know our needs. Now, when you remember the needs of a community, we have these right behind me. If you notice, these are all needs that, well, a community needs, just like we need to survive, a community needs to survive. Now, these are just part of it. So this week, we're going to focus a lot on the jobs, the roles in the community, and how we can help out everyone in our community and make it a better place. You have already started by making the second grade community even stronger this year. So I thank each and every one of you. And that's it for this week. And like I said, we have teacher work days on Thursday and Friday. So it's going to be a very, very short week. So I hope you enjoy your long weekend next weekend. And most of all, always remember, I cannot wait to see each and every one of you Monday morning. Have a good weekend.